Hey, today we are next to a BMW and I'm going to show you how to detect how, what are the first symptoms of a, of a bad battery. So your car is constantly monitoring the battery state and if the battery is not uh, drained by some, uh, some circuit. And uh, before it uh, happens, before your battery gets completely drained or it's uh, so old and damaged that you will not be able to start your car, there will, there will be some symptoms that will, uh, that will tell you that you should service your car, you should check your battery state. The first thing is your wa uh, welcome lights. As you can see, I have uh, under the handlebars some LEDs and only those LEDs are turning on. My ring lights are not turning on right now. If you have your headlight switch set to the auto position or to the on position, you should see all the lights uh, in front and in the back of the car turning on when you're unlocking your car. Of course, if you have that uh, setting enabled in your instrument cluster or in your other iDrive system. So that's the, that's the first tip that your battery uh, should be checked. The second thing that you can notice uh, is when you are using your radio with the engine off. Uh, for example, you are cleaning uh, your car and you turn on the radio just to, uh, just to listen to some tunes. And after a few seconds or a few minutes on the dashboard you can see the uh, battery uh, yellow indicator. That will tell you that the battery level is going low and uh, you should uh, limit power consumption in order to preserve uh, power to start the engine. So that's your, that's your uh, clue number two. The third thing that you should look for is the clock. If it resets by itself, uh, that, that means that the car detected uh, low voltage in your system and it's preventing the battery to be uh, drained. There's a relay responsible for cutting off any, uh, any system that is not essential to starting the car that includes your instrument cluster at the moment. So those systems are shut off completely. They are not in standby mode, but the power is cut off from them just to make sure that the battery will not uh, drain, that the voltage will not drop big, uh, below the level that's required to start your engine. So next time you are in your car, you put the ignition on, you will see the a clock uh, reset you know that this system worked correctly it detected that the battery can go very low that the voltage will drop and to prevent this uh, it uh, shut off some systems in your car so that was tip number three and and of course to be hundred percent sure what's your battery state you can check the battery with a, uh, with a battery tester such test will give you also a lot of information about the battery state but uh, just uh, remember that the battery is not not, uh, not everything in the car. You should also check the alternator if it makes uh, a correct uh, voltage, if it can provide uh, amps required to keep the battery uh, charged all, all the time. Also remember that big engines and uh, diesel engines that have uh, higher compression ratio uh, requires a lot of uh, amps uh, to get them moving. So the starter motor is uh, draining more power and if you are making a lot of uh, short trips and you are constantly shutting the engine off and on, uh, also you have your glow plugs, your electric uh, uh, power steering, there's a lot of systems that are consuming the, uh, this power and it's a good idea to uh, take your car for a longer ride or uh, keep it uh, once in a while uh, connected to a battery charger just to make sure that your battery is charged when you need it the most. I hope that this will help you keep your car in the best condition Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you and check my other tutorials for more BMW and other brand tips. See you soon.